What's going on everybody and welcome to the penultimate episode now, the OP Alphabet. I said last time this series has absolutely flown by. A couple of things first and foremost. Firstly, if you can hear the wind, I apologise. The wind is howling out there at the moment, really blowing a gale. And secondly, in for Maxim Maru, meant to go out on Saturday, but my file got corrupted. I don't know if you saw me put it on Twitter. I did share it on Twitter. Make sure to follow me on there if you're not already. NidgeT91. So I basically decided to use the exact same team as Maximin for the uh, letter Y. So I already had planned out who it was going to be. And that man is, of course, Didier Yacona. Now, this player is going to blow your mind, lads. Before we get into his stats and everything, though, we have got to obey the usual traditions, and that is to go through the alphabet. Just one more to go now. Lots have really flown through it, but we have had so far. A for Bemiang, B for Braithwaite, C for Shigeri, D for Doombia, E for Manike, F for G for Jubingo, H for Hernandez, I for Barbo, uh, J was Jimenez, K was Kona, L was Lacazette, M was Musa and Martins, M was Niang, O was Anuha, P was Pabon, Q was Charisma, R was Rodrigo, S was Sterling, T was Taraps, U was Yukan, V was Video, W was Kyle Walker, X was obviously Zumectra, and now we are moving on to Y, which is for Yakona. Now I say this player's stats are going to blow your mind. Look at his card, he's a bit of a jack of all trades. He's got 84 pace, 78 shooting, 69 passing, 80 dribbling, and 70 on physical. He stands at 5 foot 9, I believe you'll see in a second. But holy motherfucking shit, look at that record. 19 goals in 5 games. He has absolutely blown out the water any other OP Alphabet player that we have had so far. I think the best up to now had been Javier Hernandez with 13 in 5. But this man, that is like team of the year messy stats when you see people that have used him. Absolutely unreal. What a player. Now... Over the five games, admittedly, I think he got seven goals in one game against this one opponent who was absolutely awful, which just sort of tar the results a little bit, but a little bit sorry, but still, nevertheless, 19 goals in five games is still absolutely freaking phenomenal. Two assists in there as well. Like I said, this is the team I used to him. I wanted to use Maxim again and give you a little bit of an opinion on it. So I did want to do a review, but like I said, the footage got corrupted. Uh, we've got Leno in goal. It's a pretty standard Bundesliga team, to be honest. Uh, we've got Bernat, who we used for the first time. We're using a couple of squads now. He's pretty decent. Uh, Socrates, who we used for the first time as well in these couple of squads, because like I said, I use these all in the uh, Maxim squad as well. Really, really strong centre-back. It has to be said, actually. Really, really good partner to the import, the, the uh, up to voting, I should say, who is just an absolute monster. One of the best centre-backs, if not the best centre-back, regular centre-back on the game. Big Mile, the silver right back, OP as hell, as you all know, I've used him quite a few times now. Uh, Schwani in the middle of the pot, holding down the 40s, played a lot of games for now, 142. We've got Marco Rose on the left hand side, in the field, played 13, got 2 goals and 3 assists. Uh, Herman the German on the right hand side, 10 goal, uh, ten games, sorry, 3 assists, not too shabby from him. Then we've got the Upt Kagawa on the left hand side of the camera, who I really enjoyed actually, I'm not too keen on the uh, the regular one, but this one got uh, 3 goals and 3 assists in the 10 games, which isn't too bad. Then the Info Maxim, we'll speak briefly about him, really, really good player. His regular card's phenomenal as well, if you've not tried that, go ahead and try it. He got 7 goals and 4 assists in the 10 games, 5 star skiller. Anyone that's got 5 star skills is always going to be a dangerous player, and this man is no exception. His only weakness is his finishing, he gets through on goal so easily seemingly with his fantastic dribbling, but as soon as he gets 1-on-1, one -on -one, he, he tends to fluff his lines a little bit, but still, 7 goals and 4 uh, assists in 10 games is still pretty phenomenal. But the main man himself... Didier Yaconan, 5 foot 9, plays for Hanover 96, uh, three, uh, 4 star week for Forest, sorry, and a 3 star skill move set. 19 goals in 5 games is just absolutely outstanding. I wanted to try him out because I knew he'd been OP on previous FIFAs. I'm going to roll some goals now, which just uh, show exactly how OP he is. And like I mentioned before, I have got so many goals to choose from here. He's just got, he's an all round tank. He's got fantastic long shots, as you'll have seen. He's got fantastic finishing one on one. He doesn't seem weak. He can hold off a defender. He can push him off the ball. He's not too slow. He seems agile. He's just an absolute all round beast. The best player I can think to compare him to, off the top of my head, is someone like Carlos Tevez, in the fact that he doesn't seem to be pushed off the ball easy. He seems to just find his way through on goal. But like I say, in one on one situations and everything, he was just absolutely. Absolutely outstanding, untouchable at times. Like I say, he did get seven goals in one game. I actually beat this one player, 11-0, who is a pretty weak player. Obviously, if you're beating someone 11-0, they're going to be pretty weak. But he's still fed the net several times and scored a couple of belters in that one. And then even in the other four games that I played, where I was against better opposition, he still showed up and was getting, I think he scored at least a hat-trick in every single game, which is just absolutely ridiculously good. As you may not have seen, he was the first owner for me there uh, on the card, but you can pick him up for less than a thousand coins. Easy peasy, Japanesey. Really, really dirt cheap. And he, he's going to be my standard Bundesliga striker for the future. I think he's got to be after the record he's just put in there. 
He's um Reminds me as well slightly of Rodrigo in the Spanish League. Rodrigo, who we've also had in the OPL, but is a player that I think is really underrated. You tended to see him a lot early on in FIFA, but now people can afford the sort of the Benzemas and whatnot. You tend to see people using them more often. But Rodrigo's a really strong player. Jack of all trades as well. He has got a four move, four star skill move set, which unfortunately Conan hasn't. But after the, the shift he put in the last five games, I am not going to be complaining one iota about that card because it was absolutely phenomenal. And as we're coming to the end of the OPL but now, what a way to be sending it off. Just one more episode to go after this one. The letter Z. I should mention as well, if you have missed any of the OP Alphabet um, players so far, I will put a link on the screen now. So feel free to click on that and go and watch any of the other players that we've had up to this point. It's been a really, really fun series. Like I said, it's going to be sad to see it end. One more episode to go. Put in the comments who you think that the letter Z is going to be. It's a pretty obvious one. There's only one man for the job, really. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Your Conan. Absolute tank. Best player we've had on the OP Alphabet so far, record was. Go and pick him up if you've not used him already. Like I say, absolute beast. I'll speak to you all in the next video, which should be a um, Team of the League review and perhaps even an MLS uh, League of Legends episode tomorrow. So I'll speak to you all in that video, everybody. See you soon. Nidge out.